So today I'm going to be reacting to Shira7, who is a YouTuber that talks about relationships from the woman's standpoint. Now, Shira has went viral for specifically discussing how to attract rich men. So today I'm going to be reacting to some of her clips about money. And then I'm going to give you my perspective as a man. Stop dressing like broke man bait. What is broke man bait? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Broke man wait, bait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> that caught me a little bit off guard. Bait is anything you probably see on Instagram, anything you probably see in the club, okay. anything you probably see on uh, Love and Hip Hop. That's broke man um, attire, okay? Dusty attire, right? Leggings, you know. Okay, she kind of getting to some of y'all. Skin tight jeans with... She kind of getting to some of y'all. Um, you know, uh, everything um, showing uh, maybe a, a low top shirt, you know, um, just the typical Instagram look. And I'm not saying it's ugly because it's not ugly. It's you, uh, you got you kind of saying that. You got to saying that. You, you kind of, you saying it's ugly to the rich man. That's what you're saying. Okay, I'm not saying that's ugly. In fact, it looks good, but it doesn't attract men with money. a lot of money that oh, will probably uh, want to be with you long term. So what you want to do is dress almost the opposite of that, which is well put together. OK, so I actually kind of agree with some of the things that she mentioned here. A man who is, has a lot of class, so to speak also obviously wants his woman to dress in a similar fashion in a similar aesthetic um now that's not to say that every rich man ever only wants their woman to dress one particular way see here's the mistake that a lot of you are, are making you think that because maybe a lot of men and most men don't dress nice that they're not aesthetic creatures and they don't like visuals and aesthetics but they do think about it what men spend a lot of money on watches right that's aesthetics cars that's all aesthetics the engine the way it's built the body the kit all of that stuff uh, uh men love aesthetics so don't get that twisted and so even rich men uh have the power and the resources to get the very particular unique aesthetics that they're looking for um and so Yes, there is a lot of truth to that in the sense that uh, men who are of a lot of status are going to be looking for very particular, unique aesthetics. And of course, if you're dressing similar to the everyday girl um, and the girls he can see in the club or the girls he can find on the street or the girls he can find on Instagram, it's not going to speak very well to your ability to stand out in his mind. Men don't spend money on women who... Uh other men won't spend money on. Okay, uh, so far I actually agree because uh, there is kind of a monkey sue monkey, monkey see monkey do aspect to men. Not only do they recognize that they think you're attractive or they want you, but what they're also looking for is signals that other men also find you attractive. It sounds very not straight, but I promise you it's straight. That's number one, okay? You can't be looking like Pick Misha or you can't be looking like Barnetta and expect men to spend money on you. You have to look like if he won't, somebody else will. If he don't buy it, somebody else will. This is how you gotta look, okay? So we already know the level up is number one. Number two is mention all the time things that you desire. It needs to come up all the time until you get it. It's a numbers game. You, if, if Think about it. Think about how Pikmisha knows what her Dusty wants and surprises him with it. He keep talking about it, <laughs> don't he? A Dusty don't say, I want something one time and then get it. A Dusty keep talking about what he wants. Oh man, I need them new Jordans. Oh, them new Jordans. Oh, them new Jordans is hot. Oh my God. You want the thing that you want to be like a problem that he needs to solve. Because when you can make the thing that you're desiring like a reoccurring just pain point in your life, uh, it triggers men's natural desire to want to solve your problems. And when they want to solve your problems, they feel like they're doing something for you by doing the thing or getting you the thing. So for example, if you really want um, a brand new iPhone, let's just say, like every day, just be like, oh my God, like, 
my phone's freezing again or my phone's cracked i can barely see the screen you know sometimes when i call you and i pick up the phone don't you hear how muffled it is i wish i could speak to you longer i wish i could text you more i wish i could send you pictures of my dump truck but I just can't because, you know, the phone is so cracked and the camera's not that good. If I had that new iPhone, I'm telling you the pictures I'd be sending you of me in those really nice outfits that you like. This is the problem. This is how it can get solved. This is where you come in. And if you were to solve this problem for me, this is how you can benefit for, from it. It's also how you ask. You don't ask like, can I have some money? You have to present the situation, act like you're a little sad and see if they come up with the solution, which is, oh, well, I will help you. There it is. I will give you money. Don't. And like I said yesterday, don't change your level of sadness until you have the money. And as soon as he says, I will give you the money, don't say, OK, like an idiot. Say, OK, oh, my God, thank you so much. We can go to the ATM right after because it's a really bad situation and I don't want to have any late fees or I really need this done. Thank you so much. So, you know, um, we can go straight unless you have the cash. That would be so, oh, my God, you're my hero. So now he can't get out of it. You don't take his word for it. Oh, I'm going to give it to you Friday. Oh, that's too late. Do not accept anything, but you won't give it to me right after this, right now. What she's referring to is actually kind of like a salesman tactic. Let's say I'm trying to sell you insurance and I come to your house and I'm selling you insurance. I'm telling you all the benefits of the insurance. I'm telling you how your life's going to be so much better after you get this life insurance policy. Now, as I'm convincing you, I'm trying to sell you on this idea so that you'll make the purchase. Now, of course, if you just say, yeah, I'll talk to my wife about it or yeah, I'll talk to my husband about it. You're not actually going to follow through with it because you're going to have time to like think about it or you're just going to be lackadaisical and I'm not going to be there to kind of make sure that you follow through. So a sales tactic uh, for that is to say once they agree, you get them to sign up or put their card information in on the spot. So that's kind of what Shira is referring to here is getting the man to commit to whatever he promised you on the spot and not allowing him to procrastinate that so that he's forced to actually like follow through with that and not just say that he's going to do it as a way to kind of like get you to like shut up type of thing. So for example, if you meet somebody and you're out for lunch or whatever, and there's a shopping center in the same area or right next door, or there's a store there that you want to go look in, play it up, you know, oh my gosh, I don't want our lunch date to end. I'm enjoying your company so much. How about we take a walk uh hold his hand smile then when you see the store that you want to go into grab his hand like you know a child does the, to their parent and walk fast to it like oh my god i love this store let's go in and see you know but drag him don't let go of the hand drag him in he doesn't know that you're dragging him into the store he thinks you holding his hand because you like him but you're holding your, his, your, <laughs> nah, his hand wait, to drag nah, wait, wow. Why she still, okay, nah, she going too crazy. She said, don't, you don't have to, you just pretend like you like him. He thinks you dragging the head because you like, all right, let's go on. That's funny. Drag him in the store, okay? It's a setup. <laughs> so um, you have his hand and you're walking and walking and walking. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Oh, la, 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 la. Pull him in the store and say, oh my God, this dress is so cute. Look at this. Look how, you know, look how it makes me look. Oh my gosh. Just let it then keep holding his hand don't let him go place has a sales associate the the woman will come up to you and try to sell you something or ask you if you need help and, da, 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 da. and um just hold his hand and say i'm just looking right now no you know i'm just looking just looking say i'm having so much fun with you this is so fun i love i love hanging out with you i love hanging out with you look him in the eye I love hanging out with you. In You're so eye. much fun. Da, 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 da. Don't ask him to buy you nothing. Then stop and turn around and give him a hug. and say, like, oh my God. Rub your boobs against him. Hug him and whisper <laughs> in his ear. Um, Thank you so much for a wonderful lunch. I, you know, I really enjoyed myself <laughs> so much. And then just linger in the store in public with your arms around him and be like, what is he going to do? He's going to be like, did you want that dress that you liked? Or did you want this? Or did you want that? I bet you would look good in this. I think I would. Can I Can I try it on for you? Okay, you wait right here. Oh, keyword for you. Let's go on. I'm going to try it on. 
Or you want to come in the dressing room? No, you can't. I, I, I don't think that's legal. Um, let me go try it on. And then I'm going to come model it for you. Okay, just for you. Just for you. <laughs> so go and put the dress on or whatever you're trying on or whatever. And then come out and be like, if it has a zipper, don't zip it up all the way. Y'all seen this in the movies? Don't zip it up all the way. Come out with the back unzipped or the side unzipped. I can't get this zipper. Can you get it? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, thank you. So how does it look? He's going to buy it for you. Uh, I'm going to try and break it down because I do think that that works. But I want you to understand why that works and what Shira is actually trying to, to speak to you and help you understand about guys. And I'm going to say this from a guy's perspective. So what she's trying to help you understand is that if you can ex help men associate the experience of getting love and affection from you with buying you something or getting you something, then you make it easier for men to say, oh, if I want to make my woman happy, I should get her this, which is why she mentioned hugging him, press your boobs against him in the store, right? Right? Because he's seeing the store. He's seeing the dress. He's seeing how much you like the dress. He's feeling your boobs against him. He's feeling your yiddies press up against him. He's feeling the warmth, the love. He's feeling the heat from your body. And all of those signals is helping him make connections in his own mind, right? Where he's starting to associate, she likes the dress, really loves the dress. I'm getting so much affection in this store. After she tried on the dress, the dress makes her happy. And I'm feeling really good about how happy she is and the affection I'm receiving from her. I feel like I could even make her more happy by getting her the dress. And see, what she's also mentioning in secret is that you don't want to make that connection for them. You want to allow them to make that connection themselves so they feel like that was an authentic feeling or opinion or idea for them internally. And that's actually something really powerful that I talk about a lot is understanding how to plant seeds within men to help them come to a decision that they feel like is authentic to them, but actually is a decision that you very carefully strategically planted within them. It all works the same and you can get what you want. And especially you can get princess treatment like this and a guy to take you shopping if you just understand how men tick and how to give him something anytime you want to receive something.